This is just a random thought. It might ruffle a few feathers, so you might need to brace yourself. Because what I'm about to say is, it's not very popular. It's an uncommon opinion. Some might call it a hot take, some might call it a cold take, but at least that take is making you feel something, whether it's hot or cold. That take is, you should be able to listen to R. Kelly's music shame-free. I'll tell you why. So, whenever someone, me, plays an R. Kelly song around one of their friends, my friends, and they act a little bit weird, I go, well, why is that? Why? Why are you reacting this way? They go, man, it's it's R. Kelly, man. He wrong, man. And you wrong, too. Man, how am I wrong exactly? Please explain this to me. What makes me wrong, for one? But two, how is just playing R. Kelly's music wrong? Especially depending on what you play it on. Because if you play it on Spotify, the victims actually get a percentage. So you probably should be playing it on Spotify. I don't know about Apple Music. I'm just saying that I, I have Apple Music. I have Apple Music. So the Spotify thing isn't very relevant. But... I'm just saying, if you play it on Spotify, you're good. You're good. But what does, like, what harm does playing it do? What's what's so bad about it? Well, R. Kelly, he did them girls wrong, man. He was out there messing with those teenagers, messing with those girls, and you out here playing his music. I'm like, okay, I'm still trying to understand, like, well, if I enjoy a painting Let's say some art from who's that one nigga who chopped off his ear? Was it Michelangelo? So if I enjoy a Michelangelo painting, does that mean I condone chopping off ears and sending them to women? No, okay. Well, you like Aerosmith, right? Well, Steven Tyler, he actually did something really bad where I believe he groomed this girl who was like 16, 17 years old, bought her from her parents and got her pregnant and I don't know if she ended up getting an abortion or not. They swiped this all under the rug, though, because Steven Tyler's Aerosmith was huge back then. This was the 80s and everything. So it was huge. So they swiped this under the rug for him. R. Kelly, he's big amongst the blacks. But, I mean, Aerosmith, he was big amongst the whites. There's lots of money to be lost if you, if you uh, throw Aerosmith under the prison. Can't have that happening. So those white people did what they had to. Understandable. I get it. You can't listen to Aerosmith any longer. I understand people won't watch the Cosby show. Uh, some people actually still won't. But it, it tends to be like the black artist where we go like, mm, we can't listen to them anymore. I mean, the thing is, people will still listen to Drake. We've always knew that Drake was weird with the teenage girls. You see the nigga on stage kissing a 17-year-old girl after he figured out she was 17. And you still was in that bitch talking about... Hey, are you drunk right now? I'm just saying you can do better. You was in that bitch singing that song, and if you say you wasn't, you a motherfucking liar. But you knew. So does that mean that you condone kissing 17-year-old girls when you're 25 years old? Or 23, whatever he was? No, it doesn't. You just enjoy the song. It's a good song. But even still, the way that I see this is, well, if it's going to be weird to listen to R. Kelly, well, it probably should be weird that you listen to Aaliyah. Why should you be able to listen to Aaliyah? Aaliyah was fucking on that man at 15 years old. R. Kelly tried to get uh, married to her. I think he did get married to her. She was married to him. So whenever she's talking about anything, did she make that song where she goes, rock the boat? And, uh, whatever songs you're listening to where she's alluding to sex, she's probably talking about R. Kelly when she was 15 years old. She's probably just talking about R. Kelly. Whoever's making songs out here talking about fucking R. Kelly, that's a little weird, right? You should be worried. You probably shouldn't listen to her music. Or do we listen to her music because you see her as the victim? So is it weird because it's weird? Or is it weird because he's the perpetrator of it? But then, like, where do you draw that line? Why should you listen to the victim and not the perpetrator when it's all just weird to begin with? And then it goes back to, well, oh, well, you're helping one. You're helping. So, okay. So it's okay for you to, let's like say, it wouldn't be weird, because I'm sure most of you would say, if I enjoyed a painting from Michelangelo, it wouldn't be weird. I wouldn't be condoning. He's dead, because he's dead. So someone has to kill R. Kelly for you to enjoy his music? Well, no, that wouldn't be the case, because if he died today, you'd still be like, it was weird if I started playing that at a function. So what is it? What, what is it? Do you feel guilty about it? Why? 
His music has nothing to do with what is. There's only one song that I'm listening to. Well, now I'm listening to it. I don't listen to it because it's, it's kind of weird. And that's, what is it? My mind is telling me no, but my body, my body is telling me. Bro, why is your mind telling you no, but your body is telling you yes? What, what about this situation where you're about to have sex with this person? Why, what about it is making your mind go, no, R. Kelly, no, don't do that. What about this situation? It's clearly about him wanting to mess with an underage girl. He feels guilty about it. Okay, I'm not listening to that song. But what the fuck does step, step, side to side, what does that have to do with underage girls? What does that have to do with it? What does that have to do with anything? I believe I can fly. What does that have to do with 15 year olds? And nobody's gonna listen to that song and be like, hmm. You know what? Maybe it is a good idea to fuck a girl in high school. Nobody's gonna say that. Not one person in human history. And if they do, they already wanted to anyways. You should be able to enjoy the song. If you can sit here and enjoy Aaliyah's songs, baby girl. If you can listen to that, you should be able to listen to R. Kelly because she's the one who was out there fucking R. Kelly. She was it's weird. I'm not saying she's a bad person for it. I'm saying it's weird. It's weird all the same. Who cares? Y'all will listen to a rapper that murdered somebody. You know what? And Rick Ross said in the song how he basically raped a bitch. I'd still play Devil in a New Dress. I'd still play Ashton Martin music. I'd still play a Nine Piece with Lil Wayne. I'ma still play these songs. It doesn't mean that... He but you know what song I don't listen to? The song where he's sitting there talking about, I went to home and enjoyed that. She ain't even know it. I'm not gonna listen to that. Just don't listen to the songs that could allude to the crime that these people did. And I don't think it's even the fact that they committed the crime. I, I just, I think you guys feel guilty as your lizard brain making you go like that. But someone's art is complete, especially if the art has nothing to do with that, that, uh, that immoral thing that they did. Someone's art has nothing to do with who they are as the person it does but it doesn't right or the actions that they've committed and the bad things they've done it has nothing to do with it unless they're in the song alluding or just directly saying that they've done the bad things but even at that point you would sit here and listen to king von talk about how he how he killed niggas on songs after you already know that this serial killer was out here killing niggas and you would listen back to that song and be like, man this shit hard so is it really that they did a bad thing and you were you like you don't want to look. You see what I'm saying? Just look, just enjoy the music, bro. Just enjoy it, cause at the end of the day, it don't make any sense. And you don't want to die without having listened to "I Believe I Can Fly" and and uh. So was it step down to the side? Step in the name of love. You don't want to die without listening to that song. Come on, man. These are good songs, bro. Step in the name of love. Step in the name of love. I gotta start on my dancing shoes. Come on, man. It's good. It's good songs. He's a talented guy. Don't deny yourself of the art just because the person is a piece of shit. Doesn't make any sense. And I'm sure. Let's see. You know, we could do a live search. Let's do a live search. Let's act, actually do is Chat GPT. Let's do some Open AI. Let's see. Do the victims of R. Kelly get paid through his Apple Music streams. Let's see. Let's see. Cause I know they do it for Spotify, but I don't know if they do it for, for Apple Music. This one's gonna take a little bit. Yes, the victims of R. Kelly are compensated through his music streams on platforms like Apple Music. A New York judge ordered R. Kelly and Universal Music Group to pay $500,000, over $500,000 in music royalties to his victims. This payment was to cover R. Kelly's outstanding restitution bill. The funds were to be sent to Brooklyn federal prosecutors to help cover his victims' restitution criminal fines. As for how artists are paid through Apple Music streams, Apple Music pays artists at a rate of approximately one cent per stream. This means that the revenue, and first off, it, it, it also, nigga, I'm only one person, so I ain't even really getting him paid like that, even if he was the only one getting paid. But he's not the only one. I'm actually, I'm doing good for the world. I'm the one paying the victims. You listening to Aaliyah doesn't do anything. You're not paying anyone 
but maybe I guess her parents or whoever is, you know what I mean. Yeah. I'm actually helping pay the victims. So uh, this means the revenue generated from R. Kelly's music streams or Apple Music contributes to the compensation of his victims. However, the exact payment per stream can vary based on several factors, including the artist's record deal, distribution agreement, and the country in which the streams occurs. For every 1,000 streams, Apple Music pays artists about $6 to $10. All right? I ain't listened to it that damn much. But uh, yeah, no. So listen, guys. You're doing good for the world if you listen to R. Kelly's music because you're paying the victims. Think about the victims. Don't think about R. Kelly. Think about the victims. Unless you want to think about what R. Kelly did. You want to think about that, huh? You little fucking weirdo. You want to think about what R. Kelly did that much, huh? Or do you want to think about the victims and doing good for them? Cause we sit here in virtue signal all day, talk about free Palestine, and 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 we sit here and say, oh, it's anti-Semitic to say that Jews do pretty well in America when they fucking do. And we, we sit here and we virtue signal BLM and oh, oh the blacks, let's help the blacks. Oh, oh. but what about our Kelly's victims? You care about them so much you aren't gonna pay them? Listen to his songs and step in the name of love, or you're wrong. I'm out, man. Peace.